Okay, this is about the service valves. These service valves are brass valves that were brought in in the early 90s uh, when the CFC regulations came in. Uh, trying to get a little better seal on equipment and also provide a way to pump them down because if we can close these off we can pump refrigerant into the outdoor unit. Uh, they were fairly simple devices. This goes into the indoor or the outdoor unit. This is a condensing unit. This goes to the indoor uh, coil and line set and of course here's your tap. This cap is pulled off and all this is just a little plunger in here and when you pull a plunger out you can see that this plunger here it just has an o-ring on it that's all there is that's the only seal that keeps the refrigerant in uh, when the unit's running so this would be all the way down and we'll see if we can see the inside of this silly thing if it's all the way down, you can see if you look close that there is a passage down here that goes to this side. And that uh, passage is blocked from this area here. You can see where that uh, communicates to the right there with the line set. It also communicates uh, with the uh, line tap so when the plunger's down there's no communication up to the line set or to the line tap this is how you get them as closed so when you open them you turn this plunger all the way up it's not quite this high there's a little slip that goes in here to hold it from coming up too high at that point then the only thing that's sealing uh, is that o-ring because now we have communication from here to here and here uh, the problem we had with these things was uh, when they were brazing these use this brazing here they would overheat this valve usually using a, a torch that's a little too cold uh, maybe not a big enough flame and couldn't get done with the job fast enough so you tend to overheat the valve and if you didn't wrap the valve, uh, you would warp it and the O-ring would leak. So we had a lot of problems with them, are still having a lot of problems with them. And really the only solution that I've found to be effective is to replace the whole valve. Uh, we see lots of people taking these caps and assuming these caps are supposed to seal and tightening them down very tight on here. It does not work. It'll still leak. Uh, I've seen them put O-rings in here. They still leak. Doesn't make any difference. This is one of the first places you need to look for refrigerant leaks uh, when you're working on one of these things. You know, it's always the mechanical things that give the problem. The solder joints are usually not too bad. But if this valve has been overheated, it probably leaks. And none of the companies I know of will warranty any of these things that have been overheated. So that is the service valve, uh, mostly on residential uh, air conditioners and heat pumps.